Welcome to Media Glitch. I am your host for this segment, Miranda. And on the couch with me, I have got Mr. The One and Only. Juanito. That, I mean, Joel. That's, yeah, your name Sorry. is. Your name oh, is Joel. Oh, my bad. I see, I, uh, I tricked our uh, switcher Why there. Why are you doing that to our guy? I'm uh, sorry, he's new, he did it. The first day. <laughs> anyway, so I guess we're introducing this game. <laughs> Juanito, Arcade Mayhem. Okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> Shall we try again? Oh uh, no, no, it's good, let's keep it rolling. Okay. I got a game sent to me okay. by the developer, and I said, Miranda, I, the game looked awesome to me, but uh, we just didn't have time. I said, Miranda, man, Yes. Can you do it? It was, it, and I'm glad you did, actually. Uh, let me go ahead and introduce Juanito Arcade Mayhem. Ta-da! So, it is a huge homage to all of the classic NES and Atari games that you are used to. They represent, so basically you play this character who has all these arcade machines and is randomly friends with a weird alien named like Croc or something. And your clono cells invade your game, so you get zapped inside to rescue your own games. Uh, it is available on Windows and Steam for $9.99, and you literally get to replay an homage to every single one of these really classic games uh, to reclaim them as your own. So it's been super, super fun. I really, I, I'm not, I didn't expect to like the game as much as I did. The cartoon style is actually mm -hmm. really, really charming. It reminded me of, if anybody's familiar with like Earthworm Jim, this just really silly outlandish animation that just sort of draws you in. They did a really good job. The levels are really cool. It's a very pretty, colorful, and well-polished game for an independent publisher. Uh, it comes to us from the uh, Argentinian game company, okay. Game Ever, which seems like a very terrible keyword to put into Google, but I digress. The game itself is actually a lot of fun. You can see you've got um, really responsive controls. You have got beautiful colors. These are different boss fights, and you know you you kind of level up. You get the different stars for how well you go through the game. You can see these are the different cartridges you're rescuing. Nice. So it's just a whole lot of fun. So I really really enjoyed it. The only downside I could really point out is, uh, huh, can you say hand cramps? It is an homage to old style games. So you are button mashing like crazy. Oh, uh, in fact, I had to switch from using my thumb to just setting the controller in my hand and just index fingering it because it was so crazy hard on my hand. Like, I, I don't know. It, I, I haven't been a kid in a long time. So those NES controllers where they really cramped yeah. you up. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't that fun. But it looks um, great, man. Right? The, you know, the game glitches at different points, and, and uh, here's the Pac-Man level. So you you actually fight like a big ghost at the end of it, and you die. I died plenty of times. It's like what Wreck-It Ralph should have been. Yeah, actually, it does have a very Wreck-It Ralph feel. And I spent so much time in Candyland. <laughs> that's just me, though. That's, oh. what, that's what I think. Hey, if the developer's watching this, so I had to give my code to her. I would like to play it. Send me another code. <laughs> it is a lot You're of fun. You're watching this review. Send me another code. And thank you for so, sending the code to him so he could send it to me. I want to check it out. Because, yes, $9.99 on Steam, well worth the oh, price. Wow. It is a lot of fun. It's uh, eight or nine levels, and each level itself is 10 sub levels. So you go through, and, and you know, you can set the difficulty. So if you don't want it to be too challenging, the easy level is pretty easy to get through. And then the hard level, I didn't even try because it actually is a pretty intense game. So, uh, yeah, that's my recommendation. I certainly enjoyed the game. I'm sure you will too, again, if you're into that style. So, uh, I, think we're, I think we're good. Go get that one. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Ring the bell so you get notifications of us playing games. And we are also, um, you'll also get notifications when we're streaming on Twitch. So, uh, definitely check us out there at twitch.tv slash media glitch. So, we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Put that up kind of soon, but that's okay.